how's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys and gals. And today, what I have for everyone is my full review of the Hiddison or Hiddison Universal Stand. So, maybe you're new to the channel, maybe you're returning, but pretty much how my review process goes is I get a product, I do the unboxing and first impressions, and my review process starts. Once I feel like I got a handle on everything I want to cover for you guys, then I and I feel like you know I got a handle on everything I want to cover for you guys, then it's full review time. So without further ado, let's jump into this full review. So the first thing I want to talk about with you guys and gals is the overall build quality and design of the stand. Now, from a build quality standpoint, I have to say Hiddison or Hiddison or Hyacin, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've been butchering that name since I got it. Did a really great job in terms of the build quality. Now this this stand is built out of aluminum and I gotta say there's no rattling or creaking of any kind and it actually takes a lot of effort to put it into the proper positions that you want. But that being said, from an overall build quality standpoint, this stand is top notch, top notch indeed. Talking about the design aspect, this stand is probably got one of my favorite features, and that is that it is f fully foldable and fully collapsible, as well as having multiple positions for you to position your devices in multiple angles, including a full hang mode, which is always nice to see. So you got tons of versatility with this stand. So in terms of design, really good stuff there. Okay, now moving on, the next thing I want to talk about with you guys are the compatible devices with this stand. And pretty much, you can see I got a stack of devices here for you guys. Pretty much, this stand is compatible with just about any tablet or smartphone, regardless of um, what smartphone you have. Pretty much, all you have to be mindful of is you got to adjust the stand to compensate for the weight. So let me just demo a few devices for you guys here. Now this is my Samsung Galaxy S5. And another thing I want to point out is this stand works pretty good with cases, but I found for best results, you may want to take your devices out of the case. So as you can see, the stand works in pretty in um, landscape orientation there, as well as in portrait orientation. And as you can see, one of, the, one of the big things that I was looking for in particular with my stands is it has that nice square hook portion that really holds my device in there. So with my device in here, it's not going anywhere. And I can adjust it to the proper height for the proper viewing or the proper usage. So really, really good stuff here. And you can see this is my uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. And I believe this device is... 5.2 inches, but again, it works no problem. And now, let's bang it up a notch. Here is my Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And again, works in landscape, no problem. Portrait, no problem. But, here's something I also want to point out. You want to be mindful that it drops into the hooks properly. If not, your device may go flying. So you want to be mindful of that because I've been in a rush and I've tried to drop in multiple devices only for them to go sliding off. So you just want to make sure that it falls inside the hooks and then you should be good to go. And again, with cases, that's a little bit more complicated but it does work, but you want to be mindful of that if you want to try and use this stand with your device inside a case, you want to be mindful because I found, again, for best results, it works better if you take your devices out of cases. But that's it. Now let's bang it up a notch. Now this is my auntie's um, Samsung tablet. This is a 10 inch tablet. And as you guys can see, this isn't the case. So, a little bit of an issue there. Putting it in inside the case. OK? 
Okay, now you can prop it up, but this is a little scary to me. So it kind of works, but at least with this case, it only works in um, uh, portrait mode here. Can't really do it in landscape. It goes sliding away a little bit. That It's on there, but it's not too secure. So, as I said, for best results, you just want to pop your devices out of said cases. So give me a minute here. Pop it out of the case. Throw this case off to the side. And here you go. And now, it's going to work no problem. Drop it in the hooks. Solid. And it works portrait mode and landscape mode. And again, I can adjust it to any viewing angle. And this is really, really nice. So that's that one. Now let's bump it up even further. This is my... Value pad 10.1 inch. I was cleaning up a guest room the other day and I came across this guy and I was like, wow. And it even works with this guy as well as my Amazon Fire 10 HD. So, and this one's kind of beefy. So you can see you drop it in, make sure it's center, and it works. Okay? That's portrait mode and here is landscape mode. Now, I'm sorry I got kind of a close-up angle today. So, it's kind of hard to get it all in the frame. But as you guys can see, it's pretty much compatible with just about any device. Whether it be a smartphone or a tablet. Okay, let me get this case out of the frame. But yeah, in terms of compatibility, compatibility, you guys should have no issues. So now, let's keep it moving. Up next now, the next thing I want to talk about with you guys is the overall durability of the stand. Now, durability-wise, I've been using this guy for almost a week. It's been like five days. And I've got to say, I've dropped it about three times. And you guys can see, it did pick up a few minor scratches. I don't know if you could tell, but right there has a scratch on it. It's not showing up too well on camera. But it did pick up a few minor scratches from those drops. But other than that, it still looks and functions as if the day I took it out of the box. So the durability on this guy is pretty good. And pretty much with aluminum products or metal products, the only thing you have to worry about is over time you're going to pick up a lot of superficial scratches. And yeah. So in terms of the durability, that's pretty much it. The durability on the stand is top notch. Top notch indeed. Now I just want to go over some positives and some negatives with you guys. And then we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to uh, talk about the price and give you guys my final thoughts and a recommendation or two. So, positives. There are much. It has a really solid build quality, a really solid design with a bunch of foldable positions as well as a hanging position. It's compatible with pretty much any smartphone or tablet as long as you compensate for the weight. Really good stuff there. And it's extremely portable with that foldable design. So you can easily drop this guy into a pocket, a purse, a backpack, be good to go. It works extremely well with tablets. So if you want like a makeshift uh, laptop and you have a Bluetooth keyboard, this guy is going to serve you well. Okay? So good stuff there. Now, negatives. Although this hook portion is pretty good, I find that the space in between these needs to be a little bit wider for certain things. But other than that, there are no real negatives here. Okay? That's really the only negative that I could think of. Alright? Okay. So now that we've got the positives and the negatives out of the way, let's talk about that young price and get into these final thoughts. So, for those of you who don't know, I am an Amazon Prime customer, and I did pick this guy up via Amazon, and it came rather quickly, so kudos Amazon, and kudos Hidison or Hyson, I don't know how you pronounce that, but really good job guys, it came rather quickly and I had no issues. 
That being said, I do want to point out that if you're not an Amazon Prime customer, your pricing um, at checkout may vary. But because I am an Amazon Prime customer, the only thing that I had to worry about was the taxes. Because when you're an Amazon Prime customer, you get free two-day shipping. So pretty much all you have to do on Amazon uh, um, Amazon Prime eligible products, you get free two-day shipping. So all you really have to worry about is the taxes. But keep in mind, if you're not an Amazon Prime customer, you got to factor in for shipping and handling and taxes wherever applicable. So that being said, at checkout, uh, this guy cost me a little bit over ten dollars, and you guys are probably wondering for about I think it was ten seventy five after taxes for about ten call it eleven dollars just to be safe for about eleven dollars. Can I recommend that you guys pick up this universal foldable stand? I would have to say yes. If you're in the market for a stand and you want something that's going to give you maximum portability with a bunch of viewing positions and a bunch of angles and it's compatible with just about every smartphone or tablet on the market today then this is a definite pickup and at that price of just over ten dollars eleven dollars just to be safe uh, I can easily recommend that you guys and gals pick up this stand alright everybody that pretty much does it for my full review of the Hiddison or Hyacinth Universal Stand if you guys and gals enjoyed the video, please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you get notified when I post new videos. As always, if this video piqued you guys' interest, all links to where to pick up this universal stand at some really affordable prices will be down below in the video description. So if interest is peaked, down below in the video description is going to be like a one-stop shop down there and you should be good to go. That being said, if you guys and gals know anybody out there looking for some high quality, affordable devices and products at some really great prices, please share with them my channel because I'm doing this for everyone because we all deserve the best. All right, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. Peace.